Hey everyone, it's Alexi here from Exile. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the three reasons why a private investor would choose to invest in your film. Okay, so the first reason is that the investor has disposable income that they can afford to put towards an investment that is as high risk and as uncertain and unpredictable as film is. So it's important for an investor to be able to actually afford to invest in the film and to essentially be able to lose that money because film is so high risk, high reward. It is a jackpot industry that for anyone going into a film investment, they need to have that disposable income available to them. And a lot of the time that means that they've already chosen to allocate a lot of their capital to more safe investments. So, you know, property, shares, they might have a business that they're running. So they've already kind of taken care of all those other investments. They'll have a portfolio of investments. And so film is something that they are prepared to take a risk on and they have that additional income, that disposable income to actually put towards something like film. So what I've found is that it's much easier to find investors who are able to put in investment to the film where they have cash flow. So I'm thinking of things like professionals, doctors, lawyers, things like that, business owners, uh, and potentially even people that have retired. And the reason is that if they don't have cash flow, if they're in a project industry, so something like property, um, where you know often they're waiting for big projects to land and then have a kind of um, an influx of cash, the problem with those types of investors is it's very hard to line up the time that you need investment for the film and when their projects are gonna land. So the best and most common type of investor is one that has consistent cash flow and they have that disposable income. So the second reason that they're gonna invest is because there's some sort of emotional driver that's going to cause them to invest in something as high risk as film. And so what, what is an emotional driver? Well, it's a reason that someone is going to invest in the project that is outside it simply being a commercial decision for them. Because as we know, given it's so high risk, if it was just a commercial decision, they would likely go and put their money somewhere else. So as a filmmaker, as a producer, the most important thing that you can do when it comes to finding investors or trying to think of who the investors might be for your film is to think about what are the emotional drivers that makes your project appealing to a specific type of investor. And so the emotional drivers could be something as simple as you, you know, your network, people within your orbit that want to support you. It could be the location that you're filming in. So it could be that there are local businesses in that community that want to support film production. It could be something to do with your characteristics. Your ethnicity could be one. It could be to do with the subject matter of the film. And that's really obvious when you're making a documentary, um, but sometimes it's not as obvious when you're making a narrative film. So with a narrative film, what you wanna do is start looking at the themes. What are the themes that you're exploring in the film? What's the message that you're trying to convey? And can you find something within there that you can hook onto and that's going to give you that emotional driver? Another one could simply be status. So, you know, it could be for the investor uh, something that is really just a, uh, something for them to tell their friends, right, when they're having dinner. Uh, it's something that they might just want to go along for the ride for. They might be kind of excited by the idea of going to a red carpet screening or visiting you know, on set, maybe they have children that are interested in the film industry. So you really need to think about what are these reasons beyond just the commercial aspect of the project that's gonna cause someone to invest in the film. So that's the second reason. And then the third and final reason has to be that the numbers stack up. 
So it's all well and good for there to be those emotional drivers there, those reasons for them to invest, and they might be very excited by those things, but if the numbers don't stack up for them, if you can't demonstrate to the investor a very clear pathway to getting the film distributed and to generating a return for their investment, and if you can't demonstrate the likely time frame and the likely returns that they're going to achieve, then there's no way that they're going to invest in the film. Because while those emotional drivers need to be there, they still need to know in their mind that they're making a uh, well thought out, well considered um, investment decision. Even though, even if they understand the high risk nature of it, they want to know that they're going into it with as much information, as much data, and as much trust that you, the filmmaker, the producer, knows, like has a clear plan about how you're going to return their investment to them. So those are the three reasons why an investor would invest in your film.